Having spent much of my career developing large-scale infrastructure and energy projects, I'm acutely aware of the journey we need to take to reach net zero emissions and how this debate has intensified over the years, and rightly so. I understand the desire that some people have to skip the journey and simply arrive at the destination, but we must balance a number of factors and embrace the path set out before us by our governments. The UK government set out in its December 2020 Energy White Paper that to meet the temperature goal of the Paris Agreement, the world must collectively and rapidly reduce global emissions to net zero over the next 30 years. We must show tenacity and be relentless on our journey and not shy away from the conversation, but reach out, explain and engage so we can drive forward together. At SAE, we have a project that will be the first in the world to repurpose an existing coal-fired power station to solve three of the most pressing challenges. The first, providing much needed additional grid capacity. We then need to move away from primary fossil fuels and the third is tackling the unsolved problem of non-recyclable waste. The repurposing of existing facilities has been identified by the government as a transition technology and will be eligible for government support until 2027. They will then be able to compete in the capacity market auctions. Previously, the solution to increasing demand had seen a rise in new power stations that were more efficient than coal but still burn fossil fuels such as gas. Although the solution provides much needed electricity to back up renewables when not generating, it still depends on fossil fuels and the extraction, shipping and burning of that fuel. When it comes to disposing of the non-recyclable waste, the UK buries it, pays other countries to take it and burn it, or builds new and expensive power stations to incinerate it. The good news is that there is a better solution, and the even better news is that it's relatively simple. SAE working alongside our Dutch partners M plus P, have developed a fuel pellet that combines end-of-life and non-recyclable plastic waste with biomass waste to make fuel pellets. These pellets are created specifically for use in coal-fired power stations, which means no new stations or grid connections as the supporting infrastructure is all there, and we simply have to adapt it to what we need. Our Osmouth Power Station project will be the most efficient station in the world powered by waste. When I say waste, I'm not talking black bin bags thrown into a furnace. I'm talking about waste that have been sorted, highly processed in state-of-the-art facilities, and then pelletized for transportation. These pellets are then finely ground and blown into the furnace and produce similar combustion values as coal, with approximately half the emissions. This new approach at Uskmouth will remove over 1 million tonnes of landfill. When you also factor in that its emissions are close to half compared to when it ran on coal, this project is a real game changer and one that we are proud to be pioneering. This project presents a solution for not only the UK, but also the potential to impact positively the generation of electricity on a global scale. Currently, new coal-fired power stations are coming online around the world, while holes in the ground are dug deeper and deeper to bury more and more non-recyclable waste. We have worked alongside businesses from Europe and Asia, and have spoken to coal plant operators around the world who see it as an economic imperative to have the option of using a sustainable fuel such as ours. I believe that we will only achieve our zero emission objective when we recognise that we're all on the same journey. It is up to those of us leading in the sector to explain the challenges, opportunities and the benefits of the different paths we can take in order to accelerate the journey. Together, we can achieve a world with net zero emissions.